today we're going to discuss something that's been buzzing around the Cardano ecosystem for a little bit and this is the operation of multiple unsaturated stake pools in the Cardano ecosystem and the upcoming changes or the possible upcoming changes I should say and this can have an impact on your ADA rewards so let's get into it yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate. So to start, let's get into what we're actually talking about here so we can have a better understanding. Now, Condano runs on a decentralized structure, which means it is not controlled by a single entity. Instead, it's run by a lot of stake pools in the Cardano ecosystem. At the moment, approximately around 3,000 stake pools are active, helping run the Cardano blockchain and keep the network running smoothly and decentralized as possible. But here's the thing. Some SPOs run multiple unsaturated state pools and unsaturated meaning that they haven't reached their maximum or optimal amount of ADA delegated to their state pool. And why do they do this? It's simple. It means more pools, more ADA rewards collected, more of that minimum pool fee of the 340 ADA which every state pool can earn for every epoch they mint blocks. So this means if you spawn up multiple, like 10 stake pools, you can earn all those extra min pool rewards and earn a lot more ADA in general. Now hearing that, it kind of makes business sense, but here's the catch. This affects your ADA rewards as a holder of ADA and delegating to these type of pools, as these fees are divided amongst the ADA delegates. Sounds a bit unfair, doesn't it? Well, the Cardano Foundation has heard the community's concerns and is looking into this issue and putting it up for vote. The vote is about two things, two key parameters on the protocol. One is K and the other is min pool cost. K is a parameter which limits the amount of ADA that is staked in a pool and the min pool cost is the minimum fee that an SPO can charge. So having these parameters change will open up a whole bunch of different scenarios. And these are the options that we are voting for. The options are to keep K at 500 and the minimum pool cost at 340 ADA. Halve the minimum pool cost to 170 ADA, but keep K at 500. Increase K to 1000 and keep the min pool cost at 340 ADA. Or increase K to 1000 and halve the min pool cost to 170 ADA. Or abstain from voting altogether. So each one of these options will affect the blockchain and affect how state pool operators run their pools in the future. So what does this mean for you? If K is increased or the min pool cost is reduced, it would discourage SPOs from running multiple state pools that are unsaturated. This could lead to a fair distribution of rewards for ADA holders, but it is not all sunshine and roses. Lower fees could also mean less incentives for SPOs to maintain and improve their pools. A lot of the SPOs that run multiple state pools also write a lot of code for the Cardano blockchain and are needed to actually run all these state pools. So you can't forget some of the con contributions that these state pool operators bring to the Cardano ecosystem. So there you have it. Some of these changes could have a huge impact on your rewards in the Cardano ecosystem and also have an impact on how stake pool operators operate and how they run their pools. We're excited to see how this unfolds. Our own stake pool will be voting as well. You can see how we're voting in the description down below and on our blog post all about this min pool cost and K parameter change. We're pretty excited for the future of Cardano and the future of Voltaire and how the community will be voting and controlling and contributing to the Cardano blockchain. If you really enjoy this type of content, please consider giving me a thumbs up, click subscribe, click on that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.